I got this feeling somebody's watching me because spy cameras have become a huge problem over the past 10 years and maybe a little bit more than that because the technology has matured enough for manufacturers to get these spy cameras in devices like wristwatches or even pens, right? Now, this, these two things I've just showed you were probably some of the most famous uh, instances of spy things, including this lighter, which is an electric lighter, but there are no spy equipment inside of it, right? But it is an electric lighter with no gas. Very cool item nonetheless. Did you know that spy technology, camera technology, has gotten to a point these days where it's tiny? And I'm talking about filthy tiny. I'm talking about so tiny that it fits inside your body. Quite literally, and we'll get to that in a second, but this is it right here. This is a, a man's finger with an image sensor uh, camera all in one. Wow, and this is officially the world's smallest camera. Guinness Book of World Records have certified it. And guess when this article was actually originally made? 2019. <sighs> My goodness, they've only just improved this technology over the past two years, okay? Wow, if they've got that then, imagine what they've got now. Interesting, but let's take a quick read on this. So a company called Omnivision, uh, man, what have we done there? A company called Omnivision has created the world's smallest commercially available image sensor. All right, this is the thing here. So a quick little read from this, and then I wanna show you some interesting spy cameras that have been found in interesting objects. If that sounds fun to you, and a little creepy, obviously, then come join us because we are on this channel right here where we make daily videos. But of course, we are on channel one where we make sometimes viral videos around the world, okay? Come join us. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, all right? Now, sensor manufacturer Omnivision has created what has now been confirmed, Guinness Book of World Records, right, as the smallest commercially available image sensor in the world. Wow, okay, so the Omnivision blah, 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 as you read it there, right, is a compact 136 inch backside illuminated sensor that measures just 0 0.575 millimeter times 0 0.575 millimeter. Basically, it's freaking small. Okay, now the sensor is designed specifically for medical applications, features a resolution of 200 times 200 pixels, 120 degree field of view, which in my opinion is freaking amazing for that size, and 30 frames per second frame rate with uh, 1.75 UM pixels. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that it's actually not too bad when it comes to night vision. Uh, not night vision, but, but, but filming in low light. That's kind of what I'm trying to say, right? So I don't know what this black thing is, but it's very black and very big compared to that thing. In fact, it could be a pepper granule, but I'm not 100% sure, right? This is what it's actually designed for, medical use, right, inside of the human body. And I mean, that's, that's the great thing about this technology, right, that we can now, you know, diagnose someone's illness with this type of thing, being able to see inside, right, and be like, yes, you've got a problem, now we can help you, right? But of course, of course, this kind of technology will fall in the wrong hands and probably, in my opinion, already has especially when it comes to the spy industry around the world, you know, America, China, Japan, uh, England, with the, you know, 007s, <laughs> uh, Russia. I mean, there, there will be a lot of uh, countries obviously loving this tech and, and looking at this tech with, with salivating lips. You know, oh, I'll have that for my industry, yes. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's obviously good and bad, right? But anyway... Here's a website that says 23 times people found hidden spy cameras in various shapes and forms. I thought I was going to say shapes and sizes, but my bad, right? Anyway, uh, this guy went to an e what was it, an Airbnb and found this thing. So this thing is a wall charger for your phone, right? And it's 
it's getting the power from the wall, so there's no internal battery. This the 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 bad the, the, the potential bad person wouldn't need to replace the battery because there's always a constant feed of of electricity, right? And with these devices, some of these devices have 3G connectivity, so they can be streamed via the mobile network to a website or your phone or something like that. But this particular one had a micro SD card in it of 32 gigs. So there we go. All right. Anyway, so the next one, so hidden spy cameras in a screw. I mean, when someone tells you to get screwed or go screw yourself, I mean, wow, what if they were watching? <laughs> That's interesting and freaky, okay? So basically, you've got a thing that needs to be screwed in, like you know, a screw needs to be in certain objects to make the, the thing stay together, right? You just walk past these things every day. One of them could potentially be one of these and you'd have no idea. Now, at the end of this, I am going to be showing you ways that you can find hidden spy cameras with ease, with ease. At the very end, I'm going to show you what you can do to find these things. Anyway, continuing on down. So this one's an interesting one, a photo frame. So, I mean, can you see any hidden cameras anywhere whatsoever? Anywhere? No, no, you can't really. Until this, right, until you really zoom into that, like that little dark patch right there representing the shade of the water, right? Wow, you'd have no idea. That's unbelievable, okay? Uh, this one is a spy camera hidden inside of a, well, what would you call those things? You know, a wall sensor to detect motion, a motion detector, right? Airbnb, wow, that's interesting. Uh, this one, family discovers hidden camera live streaming in Airbnb. The husband was the man who found the stream. I'm not too sure how he's finding an online stream, but, but apparently he did. And there they are. There's the family looking up, smiling, right? Creepy. Interesting and creepy. Now, a, a visitor found an air freshener spy camera in a shopping mall bathroom in Russia. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. There you go, it's sitting there looking at you. Who would have thought? That's crazy. Uh, the next one, found this camera disguised as a USB charger. Yeah, that we've just seen something like that up above. Uh, this one, couple found camera hidden inside clock at rental apartment. <laughs> wow. All right, so where's the camera? Where's the camera? Well, that's actually, well, that's actually pretty huge. <laughs> I mean, what is this technology from 50 years ago? I don't know, but that's actually pretty easy to spot, right? Uh, a, a camera hidden in a fake screw head once again. So yeah, this this you know these technologies are obviously getting better and better. A couple who rented a home through Airbnb say that they were horrified when they spotted a number of hidden cameras recording their every move. There it is, right there. Look at that. Wow. Wow. So yeah, there is a pretty easy way to determine if there's a hidden camera in your room. And we'll, we, like I said, we will get to that in a second. This hidden camera disguised as a clock in my Airbnb. So yeah, it's a pretty common thing, these ones. This is very uncommon. I've not seen this one. A camera hidden in a pen holder with the lens seen in the center of the green sticker. Oh shit, really? Wow, okay. Okay, I thought I thought this was the camera at first. I thought that was the camera, but that, that would be too big, wouldn't it? But okay, wow. Uh, tying up stuff in the hospital ceiling. Nice spy cam, Mr. Data Guy. I'm not too sure what that's about, but you know there is a water sprinkler, clearly with no, uh, <laughs> no pipe, no water pipe attached to it, right? There is a there is an electricity cable going to a water sprinkler with no water pipes. Wow, that's just I mean when you pull it out you you see it, don't you? You 100% see the problem. A hidden spy camera notebook. That's interesting. So you open up the thing and there's like the internal goods, right? But where's the actual camera? Where's the camera? I can't even tell. Shit, that's that's damn good, hey. That's really good. I've seen these before online. Water bottle hidden camera. Interesting. Wow. So you take off the top, right? So you must. Okay. So you take. You're able to take this, but this bit off here. This is the only bit that would have water in it, and it's a removable bit. So this this thing right here removes from this bit right here, and then it's just you know that's that's the dry bit right where the internal components are. That's fuck. That's freaky. B 
Be careful when purchasing an Airbnb. So this seems to be a common occurrence. Wow. A micro camera hidden inside an electrical socket. Now, like I said, you know, if, if something is spying on you, whether it's, whether it's audibly or, or visually, right? Uh, if it's plugged into the mains of, of, the, of the wall of the, of the house, then, I mean, there's never a chance that it's ever going to stop recording you, whether it's voice or sound, right? It's always going to get you. It's always going to get you. <laughs> so, I mean, there are, like, there are, like I said, there are many different spy things, and, and one of them being battery and one of them being electric AC. But yeah, the, the, I'm guessing the AC ones would be the more insidious because they'll never, ever go away unless you pull them out, right? At least with the battery ones, they'll die after a period of time. But anyway, there you go, right? Coffee cup lid hidden camera DVR. There you go. Look at that. Wow. That's interesting. Wi-Fi wi shampoo hidden spy camera. Okay. There you go. I can't even see where it is. Let's, let's zoom in. I have no idea where the hole is. It's not showing me either. I have no idea. Moving on. Yeah, smoke detectors again. So this smoke detector had a night vision HD camera and DVR all in one, right? This one's a USB flash drive hidden camera. Do you guys remember that uh, Big Bang Theory episode where Sheldon Cooper's on a train and he basically forgot his flash drive and he was so uptight and pissed off about it. He was like, you forgot your flash drive. 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 Does anyone remember that? I know I do. That was a good episode. That was fun. I like trains. Look, you know, I have tall boy Gareth there with a train, old train thing. Okay. So there you go. Thanks, Vicky. Vicky bought that for me. The GF. The GF. Okay. Uh, so yeah, hidden for <laughs> going away from trains for a second, USB flash drive hidden camera. So there you go. That would be obviously battery operated, but you, know, you could just put that on the cabinet or the, or the kitchen table or something like that. Just, you know, put it down as if you weren't thinking and you know you're obviously now recording someone right now well after i'll show you this i'll quickly talk to you about something so wall clock hidden cameras so these things are huge these things are everywhere these days they've been around for a while now let's face it uh, i don't know where the camera is on that but they're usually in the black the black area whoops what have we done they're usually in you know one of these areas one of those black areas right and uh, unless you really look for it you're not going to really know where it is now Speaking about hidden cameras, if you're the kind of person who wants to get a hidden camera to spy on someone for whatever reason that may be, I'm not even going to get down to that path, but yeah, spy cameras in many countries are now illegal. So if you were to try and buy one, you would have a problem buying it in your country since your country will not stock them. You may be able to go to, to third, party, third party websites like, you know, from other overseas kind of thing. But uh, sometimes customs, your customs will be checking what, well, what customs pretty much check, you know, almost everything that comes into your country, right? So if they detect that you have bought a spy camera, for example, uh, you know, you, you may be getting a knock on the door from the government, potentially, potentially. So check your, your laws and regulations before you go trying to buy one of these things for whatever reason. Okay, that's my advice to you. Now, out, uh, outlet, hidden camera. So this is another version of an outlet where, you know, this thing will never die. All right. As long as it's got AC power attached to it, it will never, it'll never stop working, right? Now, there's another web page. Uh, I'll quickly show you this one. This one's just 10. So this one, again, is a USB flash drive for spy camera. Quickly going up to the top of the page again. If you guys want, want to go to this page, and that's what that page is right there, okay? Just so you guys know what's going on. Uh, this one's another another one. So this is the same old thing we saw before men's shower gel spy camera and it's it looks like it's the exact same uh, Sticker on it as well. Wow You'd think the company would be making different stickers. Hey, because like if you've seen this before and if you see that that very sticker on, on that same looking bottle like you're gonna know straight away. Oh, I've seen it before. It's a spy camera, you know, they really should be <laughs> making different versions of that uh, this is interesting. Wi-Fi AC adapter spy camera. So I'm guessing the camera is in the back of this thing right here. So when it comes to these things, I mean, you'd, you'd really need to find a wall socket that is, well, looking in the direction where you'd want to look, right? Because, you know, some wall sockets are behind appliances, behind televisions. I mean, if you put a camera back there, I mean, you're, you're basically recording the, the back of a television all the time, right? So... <laughs> 
you, if you're if you're the bad person trying to record someone, you'd need to find a, a very visible socket, right? Now that's an interesting one. Bathroom tissue box spy camera with a remote control as well, apparently. Yeah, I can't even see where the hole is. Uh, once again, there's a wall socket. Now this is an interesting one, right? Toilet brush spy camera. Wow, there are some creeps out there, hey. But that's interesting. Where the hell is the hole? That's what she said. Where's your hole, baby? Oh yeah, I want to spy on your hole. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, smoke detector spy cameras. So there's that again. This one has a remote control on it. This one's a different version. Clock radio spy camera. So, you know, how are you going to be able to find out if, you know, if you go to a hotel or an Airbnb, how will you find out where these spy cameras are? I'm going to show you in a second. All right. Cell phone charger spy camera. Well, this one's a white one. And there's the, the little back taken off of it, right? There's the camera. Yeah, insidious, right? It's just going to be there forever kind of thing. Uh, getting getting power from the wall, right? It'll never die. This is an interesting one. We're getting, we're getting a, a sports shoe hidden spy camera. Shit. My goodness. They're just everywhere these days, hey? <sighs> Imagine going to, going to someone's house and he's got Air Jordans. And he's like, oh, look at my Air Jordans. And you're like, oh, they're sick, man. And then... And, and then you didn't realize there's like a spy camera in there and now he's got you doing something. Like, geez, that'd be freaking weird, wouldn't it? All right, so we're almost summarizing this little article up, okay? Now, check spy shops for information. So if you're the kind of person that wants to maybe get one of these things, check your local spy shops or online spy shops. But once again, it'll have to be within the regulations and rules of your country, right? Now, this is, this is the part where if you want to be able to detect... If there's any cameras around, then yeah, this will be the thing that you'd ask your spy shop, okay? Ask for one of these things. Now, this is what we're pretty much talking about, right? This is a spy camera detection device. Now, I've actually got one of these. I, I bought these things maybe, I bought one of these things maybe five years ago. I don't know where it is. I've no idea where it is, but I've got it. And this is, you know, two different versions, but basically you look through this little hole here and on the back side are these little lights. So you look through this hole. So this is what the woman's doing. She's looking through the hole while these red lights are on. And basically when you look through the hole and you find a camera, the little camera uh, that's hidden somewhere ricochets the light from that the red the red light shining onto the camera bounces back through your eyes through this red filter and that device allows you to you know pretty easily no it's not fully easy but you'd have to know what you're looking for at first right you, you need to know what you what you're looking for and when you see the light bouncing back in your eye uh, it's a reddish little little ping of a light right then you know you've got a or potentially got a camera there right now there are many different ways to find hidden recording devices such as you know audible devices or, or, or streaming devices. So you know, if if there's a if there's a technology that's basically streaming, whether it's Wi-Fi or cellular cellular networks, right? Uh, there's a device that can determine if there's a device with 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 radio signals everywhere. You know what I mean? So if you had this device, you could put this device near your Wi-Fi box, and it would go like crazy, right? Now, if you put this to put this device next to your phone as well. That would also detect your phone is, you know, talking to the, the, the cell towers kind of thing, right? So obviously some of these hidden cameras are streaming live or they are going to a cloud network uh, that would produce a Wi-Fi or, or a 3G signal. So you can also get those things as well. Uh, look, what do you guys think about this situation? I mean, the world's smallest camera. There it is. Guinness Book of World Records certified, and that was like two years ago, 2019. Wow, what have they got now? I think the, the one way that we can improve upon this technology is not by making it smaller, because let's face it, it doesn't need to be any smaller than it is. I think what we need to do is you know, improve the resolution, because that is 200 times 200 uh, pixels, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what we, re we really need you know, 1080p at the most. Interesting, though. What do you guys reckon? Let me know down below in the comments. We're on channel two, where we make daily videos, and we're also on channel one, if you guys didn't know, where we make travel films around the world. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, at Tallboy Gareth on, once again, the train sign.
I've been tall. My name's Gareth. And keep your private stuff private. I love yous. Bye-bye.